felt like 2015 was really a breakthrough year for you. Three victories and you know, we were already talking about, you know, you being a world title contender and that hasn't changed in the past couple of seasons. But do you still feel like your surfing is improving and growing? Um, yeah, you know, um, I think I'm still, I'm still improving in a lot of ways, like big surfing, barrels, you know, power surfing. Uh, I really feel that I need to improve in a lot of, a lot of that. Um, and I think that's the only, the only things that I need to adjust and you know get better to you know be a world, uh, world title contender. Like I mean, been like in the mix, like on second, third, first. You know, like always being on the on the top five. I feel like that I've been improving on that. You know, uh, I've been improving on that, and I feel like um, um, on the next few years, I still you know getting more experience in kind of these kind of waves and this kind of surfing and uh, soon enough I'll, I think I'll be you know top five be fighting for the world title again and uh, I don't want to rush anything you know I, I'm gonna do it my way like when it's my time it's gonna be my time and uh, just want to you know do it like like natural you know I don't want to rush anything or just want to cruise and have fun. It's such a, an exciting time for the sport and you're obviously at the forefront of performance but who are some of the guys on the championship tour that you're looking to for inspiration that are pushing your surfing? John, John, top one for me, you know, that one guy that I think the whole world is looking looking out as a, you know, as an inspiration. So, um, and also I got Mick Fanning, so I think this, these two guys is the most, like, that really entertained me, that got me psyched to go surf and, you know, do my best. Everyone always says Mick Fanning, all, all this uh, new generation of professional surfers. What is it about Mick that you, you aspire to be like? Uh, you know, the one thing that I that I really um, um, enjoy about Mick it's like the the focus that he has. You know, like the you know, like the determination. You know, like the passion. I can see like he sometimes he gets angry. He's just like laid everything in one turn or even even in one wave you know like it's just like it feels good yeah definitely it, it seems like everyone kind of has the same story to tell they feel yep. like they can go to mick to get advice have exactly. you ever used him as a sounding board oh uh, yeah i know man <laughs> he always like be talking about me and i was just like okay i'm gonna you know take advantage of that like he, okay he's been talking about me maybe he's happy now just like hey mick you know little advice here <laughs> So 2018, mate, uh, obviously you'll be making a, a big push towards your first world title. Uh, looking forward to start my season like before than everybody else. So um, some secrets I can tell you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, really focus on, the, on next year and uh, to you know, be here in Hawaii and uh, try to, to get that trophy and then finally you know, <laughs> accomplish that. So that's, that's going to be my goal next year. Mate, obviously uh, a world title campaign you know, you need a lot of elements to come together and probably the most important thing is having the right piece of equipment under your feet. Marcio Suvi and yourself have been working on boards for a few years now and it looks like he's just perfected the ultimate high performance surfboard for you. Tell us a bit about that relationship. Marcio is like really perfectionist, you know, like in everything he does and uh, with all the boards, like he does like a pretty, like amazing board. He's just like, grabs it, just like, no, I don't like it, it's too thin. He's like, bro, let me try it. You know, like, he's just like, okay, man. Let me try that. But, you know, he knows what he's doing, and uh, I think the relationship between surfing and Shaper, you know, like, is, uh, it's really important. Experimenting with fins, you know, that's uh, another area where you can, I, I think, just refine your equipment as you go through the season, you know, playing with different fin setups. Do you make many adjustments when you're on the road? A few years ago, I used to ride a lot of different fins, you know, and uh, now, um, me and FCS, we came up with a really good uh, template of fin, which is kind of mixed like the fins that I was riding. So it was like the magic touch, you know, like got the magic board, got the magic fin. So it's pretty much like the, the setup that I have. Pretty much I've been riding uh, the FT model, you know, which is my fins, the, the large. It's been working really amazing in all kind of conditions. You know, uh, putting together the, the magic and then the perfect.